this lab, you will learn how to use the electronic scale and how to set up a Hirsch filtration apparatus. These are two skills you will use in most labs. To start, make sure that the scale is on. If it is not, check that it is plugged in and then press the bar on the front of it to turn it on. Also, make sure that the scale is clean. Do not trust the person before you to clean it up. Next, fold a piece of weighing paper into fourths. This will help when transferring your sample. Place the weighing paper on the scale and zero it by pressing the bar on the front. Make sure the LED screen says 0.00 grams. And then add your sample. Be sure to convert your units correctly before weighing your sample. By bending and tapping the weighing paper, it is easy to transfer the sample into your glassware. Now we will learn how to set up a Hirsch apparatus. The pieces can be found in the drawer with the micro scale kit. You will need a thick black or red rubber tube, a glass filter flask, and a Hirsch funnel with a rubber connector. You will also need a piece of filter paper, which can be found on the cart of supplies in the lab. Otherwise, you can ask your TA for one. Begin by fitting the Hirsch funnel into the filtration flask. The rubber connector will help the two stay together snugly. Place the filter paper on the top of the frit in the funnel and wet the filter paper with the solvent you are using. Then clamp the apparatus into a ring stand so it does not tip over while filtering. Then connect the rubber tube to the spigot on the side of the cold water faucet. This can be found in either back corner of your hood. Do not attach the tube to the bottom of the spigot. This is where the cold water comes out. Be sure to attach it to the side. Then, fit the other side of the tube onto the filtration flask. Turn on the cold water using the green knob on the side of the hood. This will create a vacuum, and if you place your hand over the funnel, you should be able to feel it sucking. The apparatus is now ready to use. Place your unknown in the funnel and let it stay there until it is dry. When you are done, you must first remove the rubber hose from the filtration flask, and then turn off the cold water. This is so the water does not get sucked up into your sample. Solid particles will be in the funnel, and the liquid will be in the flask. The liquid is called the filtrate. To complete this lab, you should weigh an empty vial and record the measurement. Then, transfer the filtrate from the flask to the vial. Dry the filtrate with nitrogen. To dry with nitrogen, attach a small Teflon tube to the bottom spigot on the inside of the hood. Then, use the gray knob to control the pressure of the nitrogen. It is best to keep the pressure very low so you do not blow the sample out of its vial. You can tell when the sample is dry by scraping it with your metal spatula. If it sticks to the spatula, it is still moist, but if the unknown does not stick to the spatula and it's a solid, then it's dry. Another way to tell if it is dry is to feel the vial. When it no longer feels cold, the nitrogen is done removing the solvent. When the sample is dry, weigh the vial again and use the previous number to figure out the difference in mass. This will tell you the mass of the unknown that you collected. Finally, obtain IR and NMR spectra.